It's the most wonderful time of the year. Eric, tell everyone why it's the most wonderful time of the year. Because when you spill coffee in your car and it gets all warm and gross, it smells really bad. That's not why it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'll show you. Car's done, thank God. Finally, I can drive around with the top down. And Steve, I'm sure some of you guys remember him from the Iceland video. As you know, I'm his best man in his wedding, and he said he has some sort of surprise for me, so I'm gonna get changed and cleaned up and head over there now. up to Steve-O's house. Let's see what the kids got in store. So, where are we going? That's what you're wearing. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing. So, where are we going? I'm telling you. Oh, man. They said to go 10 minutes before, but you're allowed to like walk around and... It didn't help at all. Are we there yet? Oh, not yet. So Steve-O said we have arrived, actually the GPS said we have arrived. So this is where we're going today. No way, come on. Nasty, what are we doing? Steve, tell the people at home what we're doing. You see that green car right there? Dan is uh, gonna be driving that. Woo! No, dude, this is sick. Steve-O hooked it up. I mentioned in a video not too long ago that I'd probably never get to drive a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini that I'll probably never ever get to drive, which makes me a little sad inside. Today I'm driving a Lamborghini. I am fired up, woo! I get to drive a Lamborghini for a bit. <laughs> they let us walk around and check out the cars, so check these bad boys out. hooked it up and I thought about it I was like yeah I've never driven a Lamborghini that'd be nice but you know what now that I'm here I got kind of got my eyes on a different car check out this bad boy oh yeah 2005 Accord I think that's what I'm gonna take okay so here's my actual ride situation. This guy's supposed to be radioing and he hasn't said a word. Where are the signals? Oh, there they are. <laughs> this is sick! Oh man. I really hope we get to open this thing up. I'm actually like, not, not scared, but like very hesitant to step on the gas because I'm afraid that if I actually step on it, it's gonna like fly forward. Man, you literally don't even have to touch the gas. I'm doing 70. This guy's flying too. <laughs> For the record, we're following the owner. 50? What? Oh, it's an 80 zone. We literally got up to 80 in like half a second. That was stupid. <laughs> this is insane. I can't even stress enough how much I'm not touching the gas. 
Like I'm, I'm genuinely curious what happens if you punch it. There's like buttons and levers. And that's a taking off a jet. Oh, we gotta catch up. I don't even know what to say. It's like, it's stupid. This car's so fast, we're not moving and it's in second gear. I have so many tickets. So many tickets. Oh, <laughs> we're doing like a buck 70. Alright, so that was life changing. My Jeep I love, but it's no love like a Lamborghini. Sivo, <laughs> thank you for that. No problem. That was probably the best gift I've ever received. That wasn't even the gift. The gift is driving back in the court. <laughs> in the court. Great day. <laughs> Unbelievable day. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna get back in my Jeep now. It's just gonna be so clunky and like, oh. <laughs> I have to climb up to get in instead yeah. of crawl down. Unreal. We're home now. It's back to reality. It's all right. Don't worry, baby, I still love you. Just don't love it as much as a Lamborghini. All right, ladies and gents, that's it for my one day in fantasy land, pretending I'm a Lamborghini owner. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and who knows, maybe one day we'll get back to that Lamborghini. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya.